Hi there, welcome back for our second part of the Ultimate College Search Guide for Seniors. Today, we're going to be talking about filling out the FAFSA. Filling out the FAFSA is one of the most important parts of the college search process as it awards federal student aid such as grants, loans, and work studies to millions of students every year. The application opens on October 1st, so mark your calendars. You should set a plan to file on October 1st or as close to that date as possible because this aid is often a first come first serve basis and it's also free. So it doesn't hurt to apply and you never know what aid you may be able to qualify for. Make sure you also include your parent or guardians in on this process as they are likely helping you financially pay for college. You will need their tax information from the past few years to complete the form. Over on collegeexpress.com, we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually fill it out. The link for that will be in the description below. One of the biggest mistakes most students will make is not adding all their schools to their FAFSA. You can have up to 10 potential schools to get your FAFSA results for. So save yourself the hassle of having to send your results later. Other mistakes that people tend to do when filling out the FAFSA are not actually completing it at all, using the wrong website. Remember, you can only access this form on FAFSA.gov. Another one would be inputting the incorrect information, such as just using a nickname instead of your actual name, not signing the form, waiting too long to file and missing the window of opportunity to be approved for aid that year, giving up when they hit a roadblock, and actually paying for the FAFSA. Remember, this is completely free to fill out. And more will be included in the link in the description below to help you avoid all of these mistakes and others. One last thing before we go, we'd like to remind you to keep searching for scholarships or start searching for them, actually. The FAFSA will take you a long way, but it won't typically cover everything. So it may include money that you have to pay back later. So be aware that any scholarships you do earn can also affect your FAFSA results. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the other ones in this series. We will also have series up for sophomores, freshmen, and juniors, with more information to be provided in those series if you need them. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.